Konnichiwa. Hola, bonjour. Ciao. Hi, everybody. Hola. Everybody here? Yeah. You ready for the story? Oh, yeah. So, Mick was a big and famous rock star with an amazing band. Everyone knew his music all over the world and plays his records and loves him. So, Mick is getting a little older and he goes to his favorite gym and he tries to get skinny and fit and to get into his skinny rock and roll jeans when he was in 20s. Oh, oh, I can't fit into my jeans. What's happening? What's happening? He looks in the mirror. He's still old no matter how many push-ups and sit-ups and and um weights that he lifts up. So Mick reads this health book. And he goes on a celery juice fast. Every morning he squeezes celery juice, celery juice, celery juice, celery juice, and celery juice. Green celery juice for breakfast, green celery juice for lunch, green celery juice for dinner. Celery juice every morning for two weeks. Celery juice for breakfast? Ah! Mick looks in the mirror. Oh, how do I look? Oh, I can't get into my old Levi jeans with the holes in them, the days in the bands. I've been juice fasting, and I'm still a cold. Oh, look at my face in this mirror. Hmm, with wrinkles in mine. I know, I'll go chanting in India for three weeks and live in a monastery. So Nick flew his private jet plane and went to India and chanted for three weeks and lived in a monastery to be younger. La la la, la la la, la la la, ba 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 ba, la la la. Om, 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 I want to be young, om, om. All the young energy out there, listen to me and make my wrinkled face younger. Mm. So Mick comes back to his big house in London, in the hills, and looks in his big silver mirror. He's still old! But he lost weight due to all the sweat lodge. Well, I'm finally able to slip, sit, fit into my jeans with the holes in them. Yep, I can fit in there. Oh, my little belly belly is kind of sticking out. Oh, and my legs look like they're sagging. And look at my eyes. I look old. Finally, Nick gets frustrated and goes to goes out on a drive to go to Wally's Fast Burgers, a fast food restaurant and Oreos. Hello, oh, lots of orders, three double cheese whammo burgers. Oh, yeah, and your French fries. Yes, they're the best. And so he drives his fast Porsche down the road. Zoom, 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 ziggity zag, 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 zag. Zoom, zoom, room, room, room. Or his Porsche, his red Porsche. The car runs out of gas. <laughs> Clutter, clutter, splat, splat, poop, poop, poop. Mick is just frustrated and he sits on, on the hood of his Porsche. And then he sees this old antique car roaster, a convertible, with an old gentleman that looks like a butler in the traditional black uniform. And an antique roaster pulls up and it's a Rolls Royce. How do you do, sir? Oh, hello. Do you need some help, sir? Said the guy from the old antique car. And Mick was like, How'd you guess with a sarcastic thing? I see you're very frustrated, and I'll be glad to help you. Come on in. So Mick hops in the Rolls Royce, and the English chauffeur drives him up a big hill and into a big house on the hill with a big gate. And the gate opens while Mr. Charles, the butler car chauffeur, drives in as the gates swing open and they drive up to a big, beautiful, giant three-story home. And he gets out and shows Mick, Mick, Mick Tone inside. Would you like to come and have inside and have some refreshments, sir? A stiff glass of milk is what I'd like. With uh, a dash of mm, my favorite liquor. Oh, I only have oat milk. Is that okay? Oat milk. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Nick takes the oat milk and pours it into a flower pot instead of drinking it. He sits on a big purple velvet couch. Oh, the professor will see you now. Who's the professor? 
said, Nick. Oh. I'm not here to see the professor. I'm here to see get some gas for my car, mate. I think you, you will be well pleased to say hello to the professor, Time Vickers. So he'll be here at any moment when the clock start, strikes three. And the butler, Mr. Charles, the mysterious butler, leaves the room, Nick sitting in a big, fleshy couch. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, are you Nick Jones? It's so nice to meet you. I am Professor Time Vicker. So nice to meet you. Ding, ding, ding. The clock starts during clock. Oh, nice to meet you. Am I supposed to know you, dude? Are you crazy fan or something like that? Oh, no, said Professor Time Victor. I am here to answer your wish to be young again. What's that you say? To be young again? Oh, yes, you've been wishing to be young again, right, Nick? Of course, who doesn't want to be young again? Who wants to walk around with wrinkles and gray hair and sagging skin and all oh, the aches and the pains and the weight gain? Let me tell you the weight gain. I used to have hundreds of girls uh, around me, and now I barely have one fan wanting an autograph. Before, I used to not want to sign autographs, but when the one fan wants to come up, I'm gladly to sign it. I'm waiting for people to take my pictures. I remember the... Okay, okay. Ah, oh, Nick, let me just tell you, because time is of the essence. Time is of the portent. I have invented a time machine, and I can take you back in time where you were young and your friends adored you. Oh, you can, man? Whoa, that sounds cool. Yes, I can, because, as you know, my name is <coughs> Time Vickers, of course. So, what do I have to do? Oh, you just have to sign right here, Nick. Just right here in this paperwork that my, my butler, Mr. Charles, that you met, who gave you the nice oat milk and gave you a right, has prepared the document for you. All you have to do is, is um, sign right here on the dotted line, and you will be young again. I'll be young again for just signing this paperwork. Yes, just sign right here. Okay. And all you have to do is step into this elevator, and it will take you down to a space car, which will catapult you back in time. And to whom I just made it, um, a, the time man, I had, oh gosh, man, to go back in time, I had so many fun parties, lots of money, lots of adoring fans, oh gosh, oh, my fans beat any of these fans today with, oh, a million followers on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube, oh, please follow me, everyone, on Maryland Artists, or uh, check out our YouTube channel. Um, in the description below and subscribe to us so that we can have a million uh, subscribers. Oh, my fans. Then when I got, oh no, left me for younger singers. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? They like all these younger singers and all these young singers these days are barely wearing any clothes and you can see their face and they have so much makeup and they're wearing these scanning little clad clothes and I can't even compete with women who do those pole dances and those dances and those leg kicks. Oh gosh, I can't even do a leg kick. Look, watch. Oh, creep, creep, crack. Oh, is that my bone? Well, you can be young again and go back in time. That's why you're here. Oh, yeah. And you know, there's no loyalty these, no loyalty these days. You're in and then you're out. Oh, that's why I invented the recycled time machine to send people back in their most happiest times in their life. No need to be stuck in a miserable time experience. We can just edit all those traumas, all those bad experiences and medical illnesses, and we just stay in a youthful, happy mode. Well, what do I have to do? Oh, you just need to pay me one billion dollars. Um, I don't have one billion dollars. I spent it all. Oh, I know, Nick. You spent it all, but you'll make it again, and when you do, you'll owe me. Uh, so, is it a deal or is it a no deal? Nick, do you want to be young again, looking youthful, having loyal fans, and being so popular, popular at parties, and remember, they don't have Instagram or TikTok or Twitter back then. Yeah, those were the days without all that Instagram social media stuff, when you had real fans, adoring fans. So is it a deal, Mick? Is it a deal? Oh, it's a deal, Mr. What'd you say your name was? Time. Time Dickers. Great, man. Okay, great. Are you ready to blast off? Great. 
Oh, yeah. Right now, I think two people blasted off in the space. Wasn't that Jeff Bozos? And, oh, that Virgin Galactica guy. You know, Virgin Galactica dude. What is his name? I think I drank too many cocktails in my old age. Well, just follow um, Sir Charles to the elevator. Okay. Okay, mate. And Sir Charles stepped in. Right this way, sir. Please step with me to the elevator. And Sir Charles pressed the button and an elevator opened and then a beautiful girl with blonde hair and in a very tight skin suit was there. Hello, my name is Gretchen and I will assist you down to your time travel car. Uh, oh, uh, nice to meet you, Gretchen. Hi, nice to be recognized. Yes, yes. Right this way, right this way. We have to be on time because time is of the essence. Down you go. Don't worry. Be happy. You'll you'll love your food. Uh, bye, bye, Sir Charles. Thanks for, for picking me up. Off you go. So Mick went down the elevator and got into a little time car. So just get in your time car, said Gretchen, and I'll just touch these through buttons and the... The time machine will turn on. Zoom, 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 zoom. The machine turned on and the lights blinked green and red and yellow and blue. And the car made noise. Zoom, 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 zoom. Just press this button here. It says go. And this one says back. And the dial will say to 1980. Oh, yes. You want to watch the dial to go 1980. That will be your exit. Oh, yes. And you make lots of money because the professor time pickers is expecting you to bring him back one billion dollars. Okay. Just press this green button for go. This red button for stop. Okay. But don't touch stop in the middle of your going back to the dial. I will turn it all the way back to 1980. Have a great trip. Zap, zoom, 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 zoom. Nick got in. Oh, this is going to be zippity zip. And I'll just come right back after that. And I'll be young and in Zap, zap, zap. Vroom. So Mick got in the car. Boing by eyes, Mick. Boing by eyes, said Mick. Zap. So Mick returned to when he was a kid again. And the car stopped and he got out. And he got out. And then he's like, well, where did I go? Where am I? And he looked and he was shrunk. Hey, I shrunk. I'm short. Wait a second. My hands look young. Wait, I feel my face. I feel I have long hair. Wow, I'm a young again. I'm a kid again. Oh, wow. Whoa, I'm too young. I'm a kid. I'm not even a teenager. I'm not even 20 years old. I'm I'm a 16-year-old kid. Wait a second. Oh, gosh, I haven't informed my pen yet. Oh, I've got to do all that over again? How to get how do I get back to the future? Hey, I forgot to ask Professor Time Winters and that Gretchen trick. Hey, how do I get back? And the car from a voice echoed. Not until you've made me a billion dollars. And the voice in the car took off. So Nick joined Joe Tones is stuck as a boy in hell. He can um, make his band and make money again. The light machine blinks on and then turns off. Oh, wow. What am I going to do? Oh, I remember when I was a kid, I didn't even sign any autographs. And I ignored my fans. Hmm, maybe if I sign more autographs and recognize my fans, I can make billion dollars faster to get back. I've got to get back. I'm stuck as a kid. I don't want to be a 16-year-old kid. So, anyhow, Nick. Nick Toons is stuck in the 80s with pur purple rock hair when rock, uh, punk rock was great and they had MTV music videos. Oh man, these are the best days. Oh, and I remember all those music videos. Soon there will be no more music videos, but there'll be reality shows. Ugh, and whatever you do, don't go to year 2020. Uh, why don't you want to go back to the year 2020, said some guy walking by. Why? Just don't ask. The world stops. Party like a rock star is what I say. Hey, you want a soda pop? Pop. No, I want beer. Oh, man, I'm not old enough. I'm a kid. Oh, gosh. <laughs> funny. Funny. When you're old, you want to be young. And when you're young, you want to be old. No, way, deep. Never. I'll never want to be old. So Nick goes to his school the next day by bus. Oh, gosh. You got the bus is coming. Hurry, hurry. Oh, I remember my old nagging mom. Oh gosh, she always made me go to school. Oh, here's your your lunch box. Box. Oh, it's so embarrassing to have a lunch box at school. All the other kids eat, eat school food and I have to bring my school 
cool food with me every day that she makes peanut butter and jelly or ham sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, and that's it. While the kids give me pizza from the school. So, oh no, not the yellow bus. Oh, not the yellow bus. Oh. So, me got on the bus, and there was only one seat left, and it was next to Farting Joe. Oh, God, it's Farting Joe. Go, what a creeper. I remember him, that Farting Joe. He became a multi billionaire making some kind of apps and technological things. Oh, but what a creeper. How'd that creeper Farting Joe become a multi billionaire? Because he, he created some app, technical tech apps. Hey, Matt, you want a, a blueberry and peanut butter jelly donut sandwich? <laughs> fart, fart, fart. Oh, gosh, gosh. Oh, I remember how he suffered as a kid. His hands were all purple from jelly. Uh, no, mate, no thanks, no thanks. Uh, no, but I do want you to, you know, be friends with you because you're going to be a billionaire and I need to get a billion dollars to go back to the future. What you say, Mick? What you say, Mick? As, as Barty Joe let out another fart as he ate his peanut butter and jelly donut. Oh, God, the gas coming from that boy's rear. Jeez, fart, fart, fart. So Mick rode the bus and saw Jazz. He remembered Jazz. Oh, she's the most beautiful girl at my school. She's the coolest girl ever. Long, flowing, dark hair, green eyes, snow white, dewy skin. And wow, what a voice. Hi, Jazzy. Oh, hi, Mick. How are you? Hey, hey, Jazzy. How's it going? Yeah, you grew up to be quite a famous singer. What? What is that, Nick? You think I'm going to be famous when I get older? I hope so. She sang in a lower tone, she did, and had that graspy voice. Oh, she was beautiful. Oh, I'm going to need some practice. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing at places. I just knew she was going to be big. She was going to be able to play at the Hollywood Summer Bowl night and all kind of places. Oh, and there sitting next to her was Antonella, an opera singer hopeful. She was Italian. Oh, yes. And her voice was like an angel's voice. And she, But I could never sing with her because she had better tell me out. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you? Said Antonella. Hi, Antonella. How you doing? I said. Nice to see you. I went to a lot of your concerts. Oh, quite brilliant. And even the Queen went to your concerts. What's that, Sinatra? Are you joking? You're so funny. Oh, I meant, you know, in the future, I can see you singing for, for queens and kings and all over the world. Oh, you really think so, said Antonella. She was so sweet and beautiful. Her skin was like tan as bronze tan and her beautiful light brown hair was like sunshine oh and so the bus stopped and we all went out and i heard before stinky bobby there he was sitting in the back seat would pick his nose and he would always run his slimy little finger on the back of someone's shirt i butted in front of joey and joey got his mind slime shirt from stinky bobby's finger oh that was a close call uh, bye. Hey, Stinky Bobby said, Hey, Mick, oh, God, you want to play today at the gym? And when the when we have recess, um, you know what, Stinky? I'll think about it, okay? But maybe ask Joey. Hey, hey, Joey, would you like to play with me? And Joey let out a big fart. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Let me wipe my finger on the back of his shirt. Hey, who wiped your finger on my shirt, Stinky Bobby? So I left while Stinky Bobby and Joey were farting and sliming each other. But I went to my English class with a hipster teacher, Miss Debbie Dash. She wore the hippest clothes ever, and she had beautiful blonde hair, and she talked fast and walked fast, and she was always in a hurry. The bell rang, and I went to my music class, and there was good old Professor Lemony Notes. And he was a crusty old English guy who taught us to play and sing in harmony. Professor Lemony Notes cleared his voice and coughed a cough. <coughs> He's got a raspy voice. And behind his back, we would call him Rough Notes because he, he wasn't a very good singer, but he was a great musical teacher. Hello, class. <coughs> um, I wrote some 
notes today and I want you to practice these and I want everyone to practice day and night because that what makes a great band or a musician because we will have marching band um parade and our marching band I want us to enter contest and so that we can win this year we haven't won before and I really want to win a marching band because I'm getting up there in age and I want us to win 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 hello and oh, Mick, you decide to grace your presence to us today. Thank you for showing up. Oh, hey, Lemony Notes, it's been a while. Nice to see you. And then Cooper walked up. He's like a surfer dude with long blonde hair, and he was our drummer. Hey, Mick, nice to see you, said Cooper. Cooper played the drums. Bada -bada 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 -bada. And then Jazzy was in class, of course. Hi, Mick. Hi, Coop. Hey, Jazzy. And Antonella was practicing. La 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 Bop, bop. And D Doc plays the guitar. Hey everyone, it's D Doc X. That's his D Doc with double G X. I play the guitar. A So D Doc was practicing on his guitar, and Jazzy was singing to her, practicing her tunes, and then I would practice mine, and then we were all practicing, and then. Billy Star walked up. Billy Star, my rival, that Billy Star, we would work together, but then he would he would branch off with his own band and he, he used to be my best friend. Hey Mick, how are you? said Billy Star with his charm and his brown hair and his smile with white dazzling cheeks and blue eyes. Oh, Hello everyone, so practice, practice, practice. I want everyone to practice in line and practice your marching band and uh, and I need someone to play the flute. Oh gosh, I don't want to be stuck with the flute. Hey Billy, you want to play the flute? No way man, I already got mine, my instrument, yeah. So, oh Mick, I'm stuck with the flute. Oh, I hated high school. So the bell rang, ding, ding, ding. So, that night, uh, Debbie, Debbie Dash told us to make crafts for the school bazaar because we needed to make some money for the cool, cool, to raise money for the music program at school. So I asked my mom what to make. Hey, oh, I can make some sugar cookies. Oh, yes, yeah, some lovely biscuit sugar cookies. So we're from London and we call cookies biscuits. And in America, they call them, I think, cookies. But I can make some nice sugar cookies with some lemon zest. Hey, mom, kids in school don't like lemon zest. They like chocolate chips. Don't you just have some chocolate chips? That's what kids like. This sugar cookie stuff and lemon zest and orange zest or whatever. Do not even think of putting fruit on any kind of cookie. Kids just like chocolate or sugar. Oh gosh, Mick, I remember how, how you always are picky. Okay, I'll make some sugar cookies and then some chocolate chip cookies and you tell me which one sold the most. So the next day at school, the school bazaar was in full force. Kids made all kinds of crafts, from silly putty stuff to hats, crocheted, crocheted scarves, knitted knit hats, to, to little wooden ships, to all kind of bakeries and pies. So, for the musical program. And I walked down the hall to go to the bazaar when I saw a signpost. Post, Van wanted, no pay, but lots of practice. Credit only, must be available weekends to play at birthday parties, Christmas parties, weddings, and even bar mitzvahs. And you must be a good salesman to sell t-shirts. I ripped the poster down and called the number. Hello? Is this Cooper? Hi, Coop, it's me. I want to join the band. You do? We just got to come up with a cool name. Let's just call it Cool Millennials with a K. Me. I want cool bandits. Whatever. I just need to join and make money so I can get back to the year 2050. 
What, dude? You're smoking. No way. My mom would ground me forever. Okay, well, practice is Saturday, and I'm her first gig, and it's Lisa's birthday party. You mean pretty Lisa with the big brown eyes? Yep, that's the babe. I need a singer, and can, can you holler? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, yeah, I need someone with vocals, and I need someone that can growl. Nick screams. Oh, oh, well, oh, 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 hello. Oh, yeah, you've got some vocals, Nick. Perfect, perfect. Just perfect. So Nick joins the Kool-Aid Bandits, and they, they, they were compromising over the name, and finally... They had Kool-Aid Bandits, but just were called Kool-Aid Bandits with a K. And so Nick had his very first gig. So, okay, we made a total of $6.12. So that's a dollar and, and one cent a piece. Oh, goody, goody. Where do I spin it all, said Nick, after they played the birthday party for Lisa. Okay, next gig is the Sweet 16 for... For, for Antonella, and she lives up the hill. Oh, you mean Antonella's cousin, Tinsel? Yeah, that's the one. So you have to have a car. Nick, you're on this gig. Oh, gosh, Antonella's cousin, Tinsel's birthday party had balloons, ice sculpture fountains of Cupid, blue and white wrapped presents stacked pretty on a white linen tablecloth that had pink bows and ribbons and her house was like three stories. It looked like a castle with beautiful, beautiful trim gardens and bushes and flowers and it was prim and proper and fruitfully groomed and oh my gosh, everyone's hair were blown out and they looked like they had outfits from Rodeo Drive designer stores where you don't even know the price when you're looking at them. And they don't have price tags on them to keep a regular person from even knowing how much the price is. Miss Tinsley was was walking around. Oh, hello, anyone! And she climbed on an empty champagne glass with a silver spoon. May I have your attention? My daughter Tinsley, as you know, is cousin of Antonella, who is such a, a hopeful to be an opera singer. And am I, daughter? Tinsel is going to be turning 16, and I'm so very proud of her, but I'm, she's going to be, she's going to, to be a bright 16-year-old, and everyone clap. Now for music, we have the cool band. So Mick and the band played their music. Mick sang and did his famous vocal growl. Oh, wow, wow, I want them to walk, walk, happy birthday, please, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Wow, 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 Wow! And the, everyone was clapping, thinking, and then they did their punk rock music next, and all the kids danced, and Billy, Billy Days walked up. Oh, man, Mitch, you're really great. Oh, let's form the band together, because I know we can make more money than the $5. Well, how do you do, how do you reckon that, said Mick? Because, you know what? We need to fill stadiums and sell out crowds. Well, how do you think we can do that, said Cooper? Yeah, said Dazzy, how can we possibly do that? I have an idea, Mick. We gotta wear masks and face paint. We gotta look like bandits with handkerchiefs so we can get a cult following. Following means numbers and numbers means money. I mean lots of money, big money. Uh, do we have to rob a bank, asked Coop. No, we don't need to rob a bank, said Coop, but we gotta have the illusion that we're super cool and we'll have a cult following like Lady Gaga. Ah, uh, who's Lady, Lady Gaga, asked Jazzy. Oh, I forgot you kids. Art from the future. <laughs> Sounds like Nick, you've been 